Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we will continue talking about the child process module. In the previous one, we introduced the fork function and we've essentially shown how you can start a child process using a JavaScript uh, program. Okay, so any program that you can start using the node uh, command, uh, node and then file name, uh, you can uh, essentially create new child processes with that file. So whatever JavaScript program you have uh, uh, that you can uh, start with Node and have no issues with, you can essentially start a new process with that. Okay, so with that call to fork, uh, we provided the, the name of the file, uh, some arguments and some options to start that child process. In here, I'm listening for the exit event and print child terminated when that happens. And uh, in here is a very simple child uh, process uh, program where I'm simply getting the data uh, that's provided to that program and then print it to the console, which is why uh, we get uh, this output right here. This is what uh, the argument was in the parent if you look here. Okay, this, these are the arguments that I'm providing here and whenever the child terminates, uh, we get child terminated because uh, we're listening for that event right here. Alright, so what I want to do today is uh, 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 show how the child process could uh, send messages uh, to the parent. So you start the child process and you don't really know what's going on inside of it at any particular time. Let's say you want to get some data from it. You want to know what it's doing. You want to get some updates. You want to know, you know, you want to have some message, some output or something. Okay, so the, the way you can have the child send stuff to the parent is by using the send function. So you can say process.send and what this will do is it will send that message to the parent using the IPC channel property that's on the child. Now, uh, the reason why you have access to this property is because you're using the fork function and the fork function allows you to create a process with uh, a JavaScript program and from that JavaScript program you can send a message. You know, if it was some any other uh, program you started, you don't have access to be sending messages. So uh, you have control over that JavaScript file so you're allowed to send messages. Alright, so now uh, let's go ahead and set it up to be able to send messages. I'm going to create a function here that will simply uh, send a greeting uh, for each of the name that is in that array. Uh, it will send a greeting to the parent uh, process. All right, so let's create this function here. And I'm going to call it say hello. It will take uh, that names array. And for each of the names, so names that for each let's call that name oops okay so I want to process that send okay what do I want to send I want to send a greeting And the greetings I want to send to whatever that name is that we are currently uh, uh, taking on. All right, so here I'm just going to call that in here. Okay, so this is ready. Now, for the parent process to have access to whatever that message is, uh, we have to listen for the message event on that child. So child at on message. Okay, whenever we get that message, it's going to give us some data. Let's pick it up with this argument. And or we are going to do here is uh, simply print that to the console. 
console.log. Uh, what uh, are we logging? Let's, you know, to be sure, let's just uh, say parent. To be sure, this is coming from the parent. Let's say parent received. That's not how you spell received. Parent received the data. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do a small recap here to see precisely what's happening. Okay, so the parent is starting a child process uh, with this file and provides the names argument. It's listening for the message A message event. You could think of it like that. And it's also listening for the exit event. It's doing something. All right. And in the child, I'll just create a function that for each uh, name that's in this name array is going to send a greeting to the parent as a message. All right. So let's run this and see what we're going to get. Alright, so for each of the names, okay, we have four names in here, one, two, three, four, and for each of them we get a greeting from the child, and here we can see we're saying that the parent received that greeting. Once uh, the child process exits, uh, we get the child terminated message. Alright, so this is this video guys, uh, you see how you can uh, send messages from a child process uh, to a parent process. Uh, please subscribe to the videos, uh, hit the like button if you like the videos, and I'll see you next time.